I'm Dan Farber and I'm joined here by Donna Tam from CNET who's been covering the cell phone radiation industry and one of the issues that's come up is that the city of San Francisco would like to see some warning signs put on cell phones when they're acquired by customers and uh, quite a bit of controversy around that. Correct, yeah. Um, the city passed an ordinance, the Right to Know Ordinance in 2010, mm -hmm. saying they wanted to educate consumers about specific absorption rates of um, cell phones, which means the amount of radiation that they might be giving off. And um, after, after they approved the ordinance, the CTIA, which is the Wireless Industries Lobbying Group, um, filed suit saying that it was, uh, it was going against their First Amendment right and forcing them to convey a message that they didn't want to convey. Um, they're afraid that the weight that would be placed on um, them providing this message for consumers would, would cause some alarm and panic about cell phones in general. Now, it seems this is very similar to what happened with the smoking industry, where for years and years the smoking industry would say that, well, there's no need to have any warning labels on sign because there's no proof. Well, at the end of the day, it turned out that smoking was harmless, harmful to health, and you know, I think a lot of people could have lived longer had they been warned earlier. There are a lot of parallels that are being drawn about that. Um, the city is definitely standing by that. They're saying, you know, um, there's no uh, definitive proof that uh, cell phones, cell phone radiation is related to cancer, but are, do we have to wait till someone dies before we can say, let's warn people about that risk? And it's not just San Francisco. In Washington, D.C., Representative Dennis Kucinich has put a bill in play that it will require some warning labels put on cell phones as well. It, obviously, it's not going to get through this Congress anytime soon, but uh, the cell phone industry is uh, really ratcheting up its lobbying and, and, you know, trying to keep itself from having to post these kinds of warnings. Yeah, and definitely um, everyone, all the cities and counties across the country are, that want to do cell phone uh, radiation labeling like this, they're watching this case in San Francisco to see what will happen in the courts. What happened yesterday? So basically, um, the judges heard arguments from both sides, both from the wireless industry um, lobbying group and also from the city of San Francisco. Um, and the judges asked pretty tough questions on both sides. And um, at the end, one of the judges remarked that both sides had really good arguments and that they would take into consideration. Um, and we should be expecting some sort of ruling from them soon. If um, they decide to stay this preliminary injunction, which, which will put a hold on all these materials that San Francisco once produced, um, they may choose to appeal, may go all the way up to the Supreme Court, or may go back down to the district court where they'll duke it out some more. Well, thanks, Donna. We'll stay tuned. For CNET, I'm Dan Farber. Thanks for watching.